I am Kevin Laramore, and I'm here to introduce Carol Shelby as an automotive legend, visionary, and leader who is widely regarded as a pioneer in the automotive industry. Carol Hall Shelby was born on January the 11th in 1923 in Leesburg, Texas. In Carol's childhood, Carol's father, who was also an automotive enthusiast, would frequently take Carol to dirt bike and automotive racing events, which laid the groundwork for Carol's future interest in the automotive world. However, during World War II, Carol Shelby joined the United States Army Air Corps, where he began flight training at San Antonio Aviation Cadet Center, where he later became a flight instructor. Uh, after the war was over, Carol Shelby started a dump truck business, and as a chicken farmer, both businesses were unsuccessful for Carol. In 1952, Carol Shelby finally realized his dream and drove a race car for the first time in his life. Unlike the road races that he's become famous for, the initial race was a quarter mile drag meet where he drove a custom built hot rod with a flathead Ford B8. And in May of 1952, Shelby enters his first road racing event with a daily driven streetcar uh, MGTC, and it easily outperformed all the other MGs and outperformed a class of significantly faster Jaguar XK120s. Between the years of 1954 and 1960, Carroll would go on to win 102 racing events, which led to in Sports Illustrated naming Carroll Shelby as a sports car driver of the year in 1956. And in 1957, Carroll Shel I mean, Shelby was named the driver of the year. And in 1959, uh, Carroll Shelby and Ray Salvadori placed first uh, at the 24-hour Le Mans in a Aston Martin DBR1. However, in 1960, uh, suffering from heart conditions, Carol Shelby knew it was time to leave racing as a driver and turn his attention to car development and manufacturing. Carol would later say in an interview, driving cars was an avenue for me to learn how to build my own car, and that was my ambition all along, which led to Shelby opening Shelby American in 1962, operating out of Venice, California, where he developed and manufactured the Shelby Cobra and the Shelby Daytona Coupes. The Cobra and the Daytona Coupes were particularly successful in racing circuits during that era, thanks to their powerful engines, lightweight constructions, and the aerodynamic design. Both uh, the Daytona Coupe and the Cobra won numerous races and championships, solidifying the reputation as an iconic and formidable race car of its time. Both are uh, still iconic today. Shelby was contracted by Ford Motor Company to enhance the release of the Ford Mustang uh, that was released in 1964. But Shelby would modify the engine the suspension and the aerodynamics of the uh, Mustang to develop the GT350 and later the uh, GT500. The first Shelby uh, G Mustang GT350 race and streetcars were built in September of 1964. Ford would later give over the control of a faltering Ford GT40 racing program to Carroll Shelby in early 1965, where Shelby also modified the aerodynamics, the suspension systems, and the engines of the GT40, which led to the GT40 winning its first race at Daytona in February 1965. Uh, GT40 went on to win, place first, second, and third at the 24-hour Le Mans 1966, and also would win the 24-hour Le Mans in 1967, 68, and 69. Carol Shelby is the only person to win the 24-hour Le Mans as a driver with the Aston Martin in 1959, as a manufacturer in the Daytona Coupe in 1964, and as a team manager in 1966 and 67 in the GT40. As illustrated, Carol Shelby had a long and distinguished racing career, a car developer and a, and a car builder. Carol Shelby holds a legendary status in the American automotive history. His influence extends beyond racing as he played a pivotal role in the development of, of high performance sports cars and the automotive industry as a whole. And Carol Shelby was also a great leader.